Good morning, this is Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your morning egg outlook for Tuesday, July 9th. A mixed trade here overnight, really not much of a range, particularly for this time of year, except for uh, perhaps bean oil, which has uh, fallen here about 80 to 90 points. Uh, corn right now is uh, steady to a penny higher after trading both sides of unchanged. Uh, beans uh, steady to a little higher in old crop, down about three to four on the new crop. Meal prices have uh, now uh, worked their back their way back to near steady and wheat prices are up uh, pretty much uh, one to three cents across all three classes here. Uh, crop ratings did come out yesterday after the close for both corn and soybeans uh, conditions improved one percent to 68 percent good to excellent slightly better than expected uh, and, and in both cases the crops are the best uh, highest rated since 2020. Uh, both crops uh, saw the biggest increases in Ohio and in Kansas. Uh, 24 percent of the country's corn is now silky that is above uh, both year ago and the five-year average. 34% of the soybean crop is blooming, uh, very near the year ago, uh, 35%, and the five-year average of 28%. And 9% of the soybean crop is setting pods. That's also above its historical average. Winter wheat harvest did advance uh, to 63% done. That is uh, above, uh, well above both year ago and the five-year average, and the quickest in six years. Spring wheat conditions improved more than expected. That was up 4% to 75%, good to excellent. And again, uh, that is the highest rated crop now in five years. The CFTC report after the close yesterday showed that speculative traders just continue to pile on uh, the short side of the agricultural space. Uh, however, the pace of selling did uh, slow down here a touch uh, in this past week. In total, I had money managers selling nearly 32,000 contracts across the ag space. This extended their short position to about 555,000 contracts, and that is their largest uh, short position since May of uh, 2019. In corn money managers, they sold another 59,000 contracts, extended their short position now to 336,000. If you take into account what has been done since, uh, since last Tuesday when this data was reflected of, uh, I think we're sitting on a record short position now likely just over 350,000 contracts. Last week, we also saw money managers on the buy side of 47,000 contracts in bean oil, cutting into that short position, uh, now down to about 62,000. This was the second most uh, largest amount of contracts bought by money managers in one week uh, by the so uh, in soybean oil. Uh, right now, money managers are, are uh, long meal and livestock and uh, short pretty much everywhere else. Else. On Friday, we do get the USDA production and WASI report. I don't expect any changes to this year's corn or soybean yield, staying at 181 and 52 bushels an acre, respectively. Uh, only once in the last decade has the USDA raised yields in the month of July. That in corn, that being last year when they raised it four, uh, four bushels an acre, and in soybeans was in 2019 where they raised it uh, one bushel per acre. The average estimate for corn production is uh, just over 15 billion bushels for soybeans, 4.425. Ending stocks expected to jump to right around 2.3 billion on corn, uh, up to about 450 million bushels on beans. That's about 100 million bushel jump over a year ago. I have winter wheat production jumping 50 million bushels to 1.345. That's about 20 million above the average trade guess. So uh, we got remnants of Hurricane Burl is now moving up through the central part of the Midwest this week, which is expected to bring some beneficial rains to some of the uh, areas that have uh, uh, shown up on the drought monitor across the central and eastern Corn Belt this week. So. Uh, price is likely to stabilize until we get the USDA data and uh, perhaps we can start to drum up some export demand. Uh, don't look for a big rebound in prices until we do or a change in the forecast. Thank you for listening, everyone. Have a great day.